Another disturbing incident at a TDSB school has led to police being called in, this time involving a replica toy gun. CP24 is Lindsay Biscaya is at Lenora Junior Middle School this morning and joins us live with more on this disturbing trend that we're seeing, whether it be, you know, a replica toy gun or a real gun, we are seeing this way too much. Exactly. I mean, I think at this point, as far as parents are concerned, it probably doesn't matter whether it's a replica or a real gun. A replica is still, you know, the intention behind it is still there. The intention of uh, violence or perceived violence is still there. Uh, so, yeah, that's exactly what happened here at this school yesterday. Toronto Police not releasing too many details yet, saying that they were called to this school for reports of a robbery. Um, police have said that no one was robbed, no one was injured, and it was a replica gun that they found upon arrival instead. But it's not clear yet as to what exactly happened. We're we're hearing unconfirmed reports uh, about a few things, but nothing confirmed by police at this time. We don't even know the age of the student. This school is kindergarten to grade eight, so it could have been uh, a range of different grades that this student was in when this happened. Um, but yeah, it is it is concerning when we see this increase in school violence. When you think about it, students have been back for about two weeks since the holidays, and now Toronto Police, this is the second uh, gun-related incident that they've been called to in a school, regardless of whether it was a replica or a real gun. Uh, and we spoke with Mayor John Tory earlier this morning about the school gun violence that we've seen, the increase in it. And here's what he told you. We've actually now made some specific applications, for example, under some really good federal programs to give us some money uh, to work together to apply to some of the, um, you know, some of these things that we need to address ourselves to. And, and we're doing it in a targeted way. There have been, you know, fortunately, what's not happened is a series of these kinds of incidents right across the city. It's been in certain, you know, kind of areas where it's happened. So we're looking to ap apply some resources there um, to make sure that we had kind of try to address some of the root causes of this. And so you might remember that, you know, a gun was fired in a washroom of uh, a school last week in East York, East York Alternative uh, Secondary School. So again, this is the second incident we've seen at the, since the beginning of this year, which was only a few weeks ago. And, and you might have heard Mayor John Tory just saying there that he believes that maybe this is the after effects of the pandemic. You know, youth have had a pretty hard time throughout this pandemic and their mental health isn't exactly at its best. Uh, so that could be part of the reason for the increase in violence. But again, not exactly helpful for parents who are sending their children to school every day. I'll send it back to you. All right, Lindsay, appreciate that. Lindsay Biscay reporting live this morning.